and welcome back to my channel. I've come on today to show you a technique which I spotted on Instagram just the other day. It was an account called Lillian J Art. I'll leave that linked in the description box down below. And it was a really interesting technique using watercolour paint and cling film. So I've had a go and I've made a few cards, but I thought I'd show you very quickly um, how I how I did it. And it's really easy. Um, I used this mixed media pad um, I'll just cut a small piece of card on there the reason I'm using the mixed media is it takes the water from the watercolour paint so it needs to be quite wet so this card takes the, the paint quite well I've just put some washi tape down just to hold it in place you don't have to do that but it does warp slightly with the water so this holds it flat I'm just going to wet my paintbrush and I'm going to use some purples for this one Again, just make sure that you've got plenty of water on your brush. Um, sort of pinky purples, I think, would be quite nice for this. I'm going to use my Lavinia stamps to create a card, I think, for this one. Maybe go a little bit darker. Doesn't have to be any kind of pattern, just randomly cover the, the page. Okay, once you've done that, I'll move that out of the way. And then I'm just going to take a piece of cling film and I'm going to rest it over the page. And then I'm just going to sort of pinch it just to create lots of different creases. just moves the paint around on the page okay and I'm going to leave that just for a little bit just to, to dry off a wee bit and in the meantime I'll show you the cards and things that I've made already so first of all I've made this one so this was using different browns in the background so I've just used a little mask there to create a bit of a grounding with some of the vintage photo and I've just put down some toadstools and some foliage on there just says wonderful secret lost in the inky darkness so that was the first card I made and then these two here both made using these stamp sets which I've had a little while and not had a chance to play with so I went with blues different colored blues for this one to create the water effect and I've used the crab there and in the background just got these little bits in the fish and I've coloured the fish in with some glittery pens and then the turtle is on craft card and I've actually painted him with glossy Mod Podge just to make him a bit shiny there. So they were really fun to make and I've made a little ATC so I've kind of changed the colours so I've gone from red, orange into yellow. And again, I've used the border. I've used the washi tape as the border. You don't have to. Um, so I've cut it off for those two, but I've left it for these two. But it creates a nice sharp edge if you use the washi tape. I've just put some stickles on the flower there and it just says live life in full bloom. So those are my first attempts. I'll bring this one back in. Now, I think you could probably leave it a bit longer for it to dry, but I'll just have a have a quick look. If you just gently lift up the... And get a sort of an effect. So what I'll do is I'll use the heat gun just to dry this off and then we can decorate it. All right, so I'll just give that a quick blast with the, the heat gun and now I'm just going to take the... The washi tape off. I should have also helped to not tear the card by adding the heat to the washi tape. There we go. Now it has warped a little bit but if I was to let that dry naturally it, it maybe wouldn't warp as much. 
Now you can leave the border on or you can remove it. Um, I think for the purposes of what I'm going to use it for, I'm going to cut off the, the border. So I'll come back when I've done that. Right, I've cut the border off and I'm just going to start um, putting stamps on, on this, I think. I'm going to just rest that on there just to save getting my mat um, inky. So I'm going to use some Distress Oxide in the Chip Sapphire and I'm just going to position this mask. I want it to raise up, I want it to be like it's on a hill. So I'll just hold that down there and just it's difficult with one hand. I'll just ink up the brush. Just start to give it a grounding on the bottom. I think I'm going to use my Lavinia stamps on this one. And as you can see, that's given us a bit of a, a grounding there. Okay, so I think the first stamp I'm going to use is this one. So this one was quite an old stamp, although I do think Lavinia still does it. It's the Celestial Tree. So I've mounted it onto a block. I'm just going to use the VersaFine in the Onyx Black. And I'm just going to position the tree. I'm not going to go the full length. So I think I'm going to position the tree. I just don't want to get the black ink on my mat. Position the tree there. the first one. Now then, I think I'm going to use this little towards stool stamp on the bottom of the of this hill. Just position that there. this one which is the taller towards duels I think I'm going to have them there so I don't want to do the whole of the stalk just um, position those there and give the illusion that they're closer on the top of the hill. I don't know whether that works, but that's the idea. And then I have the fairy, the foragers. Um, I love the little one with the lamp. So I think we're going to see if we can position her maybe about there. And then I do like to use the Posca pen just to sort of put a little illusion that there's some light coming from that little lamp. And then I think what I'll do is I'll take the white Posca pen and just add a bit of highlighting just to Possibly on the fairy as well. And then maybe on the tree. Just down the tree trunk. And then a few little dots in the tree. Just on that side. And then we'll have to have something on there. Sentiment. So I'll go away and come back see if I can find a, a sentiment. Okay, for the sentiment, I've got this stamp set here which I've had for a long time. May even have come with a magazine. I don't know. It's there's no brand on on that one. I'm just just going to use the the phrase "Believe in the Magic" sentiment on there. And I'm going to stamp that onto this little 
piece of card, which is just about gone on there. And then that can sit quite nicely on there. So I have actually made another one of these. I've made this one obviously purposely for the camera. But I did make another one earlier. Um, and I had time to sort of add a moon in the background. Although it doesn't really show up all that well on there. I maybe needed to add a bit more white. But I've just edged that with black card and then mounted it on a white card base. So yeah, so those are my makes using the, the watercolour and the cling film. Um, I'm still obviously experimenting and trying different colours. Um, I'll do more of the changing of the colour, I think, like that one. But um, yeah, I had lots of fun making those. So let me know if you if you give it a go and, and what results you get. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.